Laura Zamir White is the centerpiece of the Georgia Bulldogs rushing attack, but that distinction did not come without obstacles. As a senior at Scotland High School in Laurenburg, North Carolina, Zamir tore his right ACL. Then once he got to Georgia, he tore his left ACL. Two devastating knee injuries in just one year's time. But he overcame. That's what Zamir White does. He overcomes. See, those knee injuries aren't even the biggest obstacles he's faced in life. Zamir White was born a fighter. White knifing into the secondary, makes a tackle and dives for the end zone. Zeus, between those lines, just turn on the tape. You go ask the Auburn linebacker. It's like running into a brick wall. I mean, look at his body. I mean, his physique tells it all. He doesn't skip reps. Looks like a little Greek god. On the field, he's Zeus. 225 pounds of force and fury. Between the lines for me is war, really. The field is like a way that I can be myself and just like express my feelings and just hit some people. It's just a safe space for me that like I can get away from everything I've been through. But Georgia running back Zamir White's story does not begin with strength and power. It starts with a struggle to survive. One that began before he was born. I was six months pregnant. He only weighed one pound. The doctor said that they should terminate my pregnancy. And my grandma was like, well, we're not going to terminate the pregnancy. No matter what's wrong with him, he's going to be born. She was like, if he take one breath, he's going to take it. Zamir took that first breath on September 18, 1999. But his fight was only beginning. Born with a number of complications, including a cleft lip and cleft palate, he immediately started to lose weight. They had told me that he wouldn't live but maybe two weeks. When I saw Zamir, I just stared at him because I had never seen nothing like that in my life. I just looked at him for a long time like, what am I going to do? It's difficult to like look at your child. If you would open Zamir's mouth, you could see up through his nose. And then like a few months into him going back and forth to the hospital, we found out that his kidneys was leaking. Zamir spent the first three months of his life in the hospital with frequent trips thereafter. Despite corrective surgery to his lip and eventually his palate, he wasn't able to escape looking different from his peers. I didn't see no kids with it, just me with this thing on my lip. And um, I mind you back then, like my mouth had a hole in it. Be kids looking at you funny, like you just not normal like one of them. He had the, the difficult with his speech. He, he didn't talk properly. And even though the other kids would have little things to say about his mouth, I was like, that's okay, Zamir. They can't do what you do. What he could do was play football. From the moment he joined a rec league team, that became his purpose and his mission. Outwork everybody, every day. He just takes it all in and then he works out like really, really hard. And he don't pay attention to what people say. My mother just, Push me like that. You really just gotta focus on you, like, and just keep going. Just been like dialed it, yeah, just like been like put down. Just made me want to go harder. At the same time, them kids were laughing and stuff like that. Like I was working for getting better. When she got to middle school, uh, you could see the talent that he had. And when he got to high school, it was all over. The first time he touched the ball as a high school player, he went like 53 yards for a touchdown. I looked at the assistant coaches. So I'm like, we might have something here. It didn't take long for us to figure out that Zamir was a little bit different. Over the next four years, Zamir became the top running back recruit in the nation. These days, he powers the backfield for the number one team in the nation and is still chasing that childhood dream. Everybody want their children to do what they want to do. You know, when they're little and they say, "You want to? I want to be this mama, or I want to be that. But to actually see him working and doing it, it's like, it's a different feeling. When you look in the mirror and see your scar, huh, what do you see? I see a uh, young man that's been through a lot of stuff and just want to do best by his mother and his sister and his family and his coaches. Directly after that question, I asked Zamir what uh, example he believes he's made for his peers. And he said 
It's quite an example. I made something out of nothing. And, guys, he continues to use his platform as a big-time college football player to embolden young people and children who also have a cleft lip and or cleft palate. Multiple parents during our reporting told us that their children see light and see hope in Zamir's success. And Kirby Smart told us Zamir has embraced this basically his entire life now every single day. I see children run up to him, and they just light up because he gives them so much time and so much attention and so much hope. Mm. Thank you for your examples, Amir.